in the wave blaster and had its lake and everything the ski started doing the same thing that it was doing prior to rebuilding the motor changing the starter out and all that kind of fun stuff um, I kind of had a feeling that's what it was um, but I didn't have the starter relay like a spare one to, to test I had a spare starter so that was why I was going to do that since I had the park just to make sure that wasn't it well obviously it wasn't the starter so it ended up being the starter relay, so I am fully involved in getting that replaced. I finally ordered one. This is the original one right here um, and all that. Well, I ordered another OEM Yamaha one. So got that in. I'm going to go ahead and get it replaced, and that should have the blaster completely running right again. Um, I did try one of the uh, starter relays that was like 20 30 bucks cheaper it was still like 60 bucks but it was an off brand and bought it got it put it all in here hit the start button and nothing so it obviously was bad from the beginning so sent it back and like i said ended up buying that one so now we got the oem you know yamaha one so we're gonna get that replaced but uh, that was what all the I'm assuming was the clicking and all that, but we're gonna get this replaced and all that, so let's get it knocked out. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <clears throat> you got the brown, and you got the red, and then you got your ground put right here. So, uh, still got my loose black and the loose pink for the uh, temp sensor that I don't use anymore. So. Alright, I got everything tidied back up in there, uh, somewhat, uh, just temporarily, just in case. I got to take it all back apart. But we're going to give this a try, see if that fixed it. Fix the problem. It uh, turns over now and doesn't click, make any of that racket like it was doing before. So it's about as easy as it is. Just kind of pull that computer out or the ECU and everything itself. Open it up and take those four little wires loose, and you're and 
replace it, but I would definitely suggest do not go with an off brand. Go with the OEM. I know I've probably said this numerous times, but I'm trying it just to make sure, you know, trying to see how stuff works, but definitely go with the Yamaha OEM. Make sure you don't run into the same situation that I did, which really wasn't that big of a deal. I wasn't planning on riding anytime soon anyway, so it was, a, it was worth the try. Didn't cost me any extra money, just a little extra time. Hope that helps y'all and fixes your problem, you know, with it not starting to. I'll put the link in the bio, see if I can find one through Amazon for y'all to uh, find this, or I'll put the part number in the uh, description as well, so to be able to make sure you get the right one and not some off-brand.